Hello everyone, welcome back, Severt is here, coming back with part, who the fuck cares of what if Deku was an earthbender. Now where we last left off, Izuku has gone into the entrance exam, and after saving Oraka from being crushed under the robot, by metal bending the robot or controlling him, just he throw the robot away and All Might getting suspicious of Izuku seeing how he certainly have two quirks not one as in the end he just got hold of Izuku after taking him into a room that also there Aizawa and also Principal Nezu he start asking him some questions and left Izuku leave after that after telling him that he actually done a great job and he's gotten to UA as right now we cut into Izuku that he's running so happy and the people, you know, still looking at Izuku while he's running because he's still wearing his earthbending outfit. In the end, he finally got into the forest and immediately smashed through the, the wall and saying to himself, I need to tell my sensei about this. Well, I'm sure she certainly know about what I'm doing and I already have, you know, have already passed the entrance exam, but at least I need to tell her. Personally, as after that, Izuku got closer into his sensei and bow in front of him, you know, in front of her after coming into the room, seeing her just drinking some green tea. As Kiyoshi said, Ah, Izuku, welcome back. So, how, what's, how was your entrance exam? Um, didn't you say that you, of course, I was lying on you. I just want to hear the whole story from you. I'm not gonna always look on for you, Izuku. One day you're gonna have to look on yourself. As Izuku said, um, alright, let me tell you what happened. As Izuku explaining the first part of the entrance exam, how he was demolishing robot and after that, that there's one thing that happened weird. There was a, f a really, really giant robot that tried to crush someone and... As Kiyoshi cutting him saying, and you saved that person, right? Um, yeah, but the weird thing that I couldn't save her with rocks, I certainly were able to control the robot. As Kiyoshi suddenly spit her tea and Izuku said, um, sensei, are you okay? As Kiyoshi said, <coughs> sorry about that, it's just, can you please repeat what you said? What, he, what did you say? Oh, alright, I told you that I was able to control the robot, just pushing him back without rocks. As Kiyoshi said, oh, I understand. Well, Izuku, come with me. As Kiyoshi taking Izuku deeper into the mansion or the castle underground, as Izuku seeing in front of him a room that filled with metal everywhere. It's like a metal room. There are some metal rocks everywhere, some shields of metal and it's just metal on metal as Izuku said what is this room as Kiyoshi said standing in the middle of the room while her hands behind her back and said Izuku there is one thing that I didn't tell you about the earthbenders they can control more than just the dust and the rocks and the ground as she's saying this while not looking at Izuku Izuku can only see her back as Izuku said so uh, are you saying that I can control metal? As Kiyoshi spin around and said, Yes, you can, and I'm gonna show you how. As she immediately raising her leg and smash it into the ground, sending a shockwave in the room, making some of the metal start to come out of its place. And after that, taking out whatever she hold, you know, those things that I'm gonna show you right now. These two things, if you can see them, if anyone know what they are in the comment, please tell me. I really need to know what they are. As she just got hold of them and immediately holding her hands into the sides. And after that, clapping her hand together, making a, a wall of metal in front of him, in front of her, and in front of Izuku. As Izuku said, wow, can I really do that? And immediately she just put her hands back into the sides, making the metal just go back into its place. And immediately... Uh, smash her leg back into the ground and taking more metal creating like a ball of metal and immediately throw it at Izuku as Izuku crossing his hand together 
and after that, the ball suddenly stopped in its place, as Izuku said, Oh, I can do it, as Kiyoshi said, Hmm, you can do it, great, so it wasn't uh, just a mistake. Well, Izuku, for the next couple of weeks, you will gonna train on metal bending, or an iron bending, I'm just gonna call it, you know, call it a metal bending, because I think it's better than just iron, as Izuku said, really? Yes, of course, Izuku, so. But first of all, I think it's time for a celebration. A real warrior also needs some time to rest and some time to celebrate by his accomplishes. Today, I'm gonna... Let's go into somewhere more nicer, as Kiyoshi taking Izuku out of the underground castle and Izuku just walking with her, still wearing his uniform as after that she take him into a very very far place in the forest as Izuku said where are we going as Kiyoshi said we are going into the into the most beautiful place in this whole forest I'm sure that you will gonna like it as after that Izuku just seeing a big wall filled with vines and just uh, lots of things rocks and some you know, just some, a lot, a lots of vines in front of him, as Izuku said, so, uh, I think it's behind this wall, as Kiyoshi said, yes, but this wall is more stronger than for any earthbenders, as we're gonna have, it's literally a part of a mountain, can you try bend it, Izuku, as Izuku tried to open the, you know, the wall just, he trying to push her his hands into the into the sides, trying to break the wall, but it's so strong as Izuku said, it's so strong. Why is so strong? Hmm. Well, because this me this wall is made out of rocks and metal that is not so easy for the earthbenders to m manipulate it. It's so hard for them, especially for someone new as you. Well, let us. Let me do this, as Kiyoshi just taking one, one of her two things and just do a smooth move, moving her hand upwards, making like a, a, a scratch in the wall. And after that, she just move her hand into the left, making the wall open up as Izuku see in front of him. Such a beautiful place looking like. Looking like this, as Izuku seeing this beautiful waterfall in front of him and said, Wow, this is so beautiful. Are you always coming here? Yes, yeah, sometime I come here to relax and think to myself. Well, it's your off day. You can enjoy the water. It's such a pure water. Pure than any water other in the world. Try to drink some of it. It tastes so good. Even if it's, you know, tasteless. Or something like that. Just enjoy yourself, Izuku. As Izuku said, thank you, master. And immediately after that, Izuku coming closer into the water, into the water as he just takes some of the water and drink it. As he said, whoa, it's really... This is the, be the best thing that I ever drink in my life. As Kiyoshi just moving her hand a little bit, uh, making some... Cleaning some ground and cleaning some dust as she just take a, a cup of green tea and start drinking it while she's sitting down. And Izuku just enjoying the water, sitting down, going to swim in the waterfall and things like that. And after, you know, having a nice day, Kiyoshi said, Well, Izuku, I think it's time to leave. I'm sure that your mother is worried about you now. As Izuku said, Oh, yeah, my mom. Um, thank you, Sensei, for the nice trip. I'm gonna leave. Well, take good care of yourself. And Izuku, one last thing. When you're gonna go into your home, expect to find Iz Bakugo there, alright? As Izuku said, Bakugo, in my house, what is he doing? I don't really know. Or, l I'm just gonna leave it as a surprise for you. You can't, al you can't always count on me to tell you what's happening there and there, as Izuku said, all right, sensei, see you around, as Izuku just leave the place, 
After that, Izuku started walking back into his home as he taken a deep breath before he opened the door and said, My sensei said that if Bakugo is here, what does he want now? Alright, as Izuku just opened the door, seeing Mitsuki, Bakugo, and Katsuki just sitting on a, you know, couch, talking with Inko, as Inko said, Oh yeah, Mitsuki, Izuku has finally developed his quirk and, is, and he's so good. What about Bakugo? As Mitsuki said, oh yeah, Bakugo is taking good care of himself. He start training sometimes. But he just asked me for weird reason to come here. <laughs> I think that he finally thinking as at, uh, you know, thinking about Izuku like a friend. As Bakugo said, uh, he's not my friend. As Mitsuki hit him on his head and said, shut up what I'm talking, Katsuki. Don't hit me, you bitch. Who are you calling a bitch, you asshole? You are a bitch! You are the bitch here! Shut up and let us talk! As after that, Izuku come from behind and said, Mom, um, what, what's happening here? As Inko said, Oh, Izuku, welcome! Katsuki and Mitsuki has come to meet you! As Katsuki, you know, Mitsuki said, Oh, hey Izuku! How was your entrance exam? As Izuku said, yeah, it went great. All Might told me that I have passed the entrance exam with the flying colors. Oh, really, Izuku? I'm really happy for you. And yeah, you know, Bakugo has also done a great job on the entrance exam, and he asked me to come here so both of you can play together. So, how about you go into your room, Izuku, and play nicely? Bakugo, don't explode the the kid face understand as Bakugo said whatever now after that Izuku just walked with Bakugo into his room as Izuku said what now I want to know how the hell you managed to control that robot I know that you have an earth quirk but a metal quirk now where are you getting all this power okay first of all how the how the hell did you know that I even managed to control the robot. I saw it from my arena. Some people there were recording what you just did. And I just saw it on the internet. As Izuku said, wait, what are you talking about? Wait a minute. As Izuku just opened his laptop and looking on the internet, he find the video. As Izuku said, damn it. Alright, I doesn't need to tell you anything about my quirk, Bakugo. Now leave. You, no, you have to tell me. When we were four years old, years old kids, you didn't have a fucking quirk. And I always were bullying you. But you never suddenly just developed it in self-defense or something like that. But now, you not only have one quirk, but two. You need an experience. Explain something for me now. As Izuku said, I doesn't need to explain something for you. Katsuki, Bakugo, get out of my room. As Izuku immediately pushes, uh, pushes his hand forward, pushing Bakugo off, you know, out of the room while the, you know, breaking the door too because Bakugo were wearing some sort of, you know, how can I say it? You know, thing, so he just was putting something metal around his neck. Whatever, he, Izuku just pushing him using his metal bending. As Bakugo being thrown out of the wall, out of the door and breaking the door with him. As Mitsuki and Bak and me, you know, Inko looking at this, Mitsuki immediately said, Bakugo, didn't I tell you not to blow him up? As she's seeing Bakugo on the ground and Bakugo said, Dah. Whatever, I doesn't need to know your fucking quirk. I'm gonna beat you in the future. I'm gonna leave now. As Baku just swap away the blood out of his nose and just leave the place. As Mitsuki seeing Izuku coming out of the room and said, What happened? As Izuku said, Nothing. Mom, I'm sorry about the door. I'm gonna fix it. As Izuku just lift up the door and try to focus his metal bending even if he really don't understand how to use it. He tried his hardest to focus and just put the metal, the metal back in its place. As, you know, Mitsuki said, Well, Inko, I'm sorry about what happened. 
Oh no no, I'm, I really don't know what's happened between Izuku and Bakugo in the room, but it seems that Izuku was the one that pushed him. Yeah, which is I'm um, quite surprised by. Izuku really getting stronger, huh? You must be proud of him. Oh yeah, of course, I always were proud of him. And he's so, so good. Well, uh, how about you stay with us until the dinner? Oh no, I really need to go. My husband is gonna come into the house very soon, so goodbye, Inko. As she just leave the place. After that, Inko come into Izuku and said, Izuku, what's happened in the room? Nothing, mom. It's just Bakugo trying to fucking know my quirk. Hey, don't swear. As Izuku said, I'm alright. Sorry, but I just doesn't want to see him. As... Inko said, Izuku, why don't you act nice with him? He may be, you know, kind of an asshole, I'm gonna say it. As Izuku said, hey, you just told me not to swear. Alright, but, you know, the truth need to be told. Anyways, maybe you should try to act nice with him? I already tried this out. He, the only net language that he speak with is the language of the Fire Nation. The fire what? As Izuku closed his mouth and said, um, nothing, mom, it's just my imagination. Uh, you know, the, if, if, what they call it, the, uh, the story, the, the stories be before the sleeping, I just always read is just as Inko said, <laughs> all right, Izuku, calm down, calm down. It's nothing to be worried about. All right, whatever you, it's happening with you, I'm happy that you are. Still the good green boy that I love, as she just kissed him on his head and Izuku said thank you mom. And after that he just go to sleep. As in the next day, Izuku waking up wearing his green hoodie jacket and his uh, black t-shirt and black pants. And just keeping his hoodie off and also having a bag with him that having his earthbender uniform with him. As Izuku just walking and walking until he finally see a bank that has been robbed as the robberies inside you know the robbers inside the bank saying if anyone try to come inside we will gonna kill all the civilians as Izuku seeing this and seeing the police and the heroes not doing anything he even seeing all my there as Izuku you know putting his hoodie on his head and said they can't save them they all surrounded inside should I leave as Izuku was leaving to his go and train with his master but he said no my power are made to get peace and harmony into the world and to stop the chaos like this if I'm gonna just look away from someone that's trying to hurt innocent people then I'm then everything that I'm trying to do and everything that I'm training for is nothing as Izuku immediately go into one of the alleyways behind the bank as Izuku immediately put on his, uh, you know, <clears throat> uniform, earthbender uniform, and after that, he keeping a couple of, you know, like metal balls with him, just to try train in the way. He was training on them in the way, just learning how to, uh, you know, metal bend, but he think that they were gonna get useful in the way, and after that, Izuku trying to find a, an entrance as he see an air vent and Izuku said great this will be useful as Izuku just using his, his earth bending lifting his up himself up in the air getting closer into the air you know air vein or whatever as he immediately just take it out of his place by just gray putting some rocks around his hand and just breaking the air vein as he got inside and immediately he looked in you know under him he see the robberies and also the civilians as izuku said there is 15 one of them and there is 20 person there i sh i'm i need to make sure that no one will going to get injured from the civilians so i need to build a, a stone wall in front of them before i jump down as the robberies inside said, come on, open the fucking safe. Uh, I'm trying, sir. It's just as he hit him with his gun on his head and said, open it already. As after that, 
the one that taking care of the civilians making sure that they doesn't run away which is there is also a child between them he he suddenly feeling the ground starts sh shaking as he said um boss i think there is a problem and immediately a big wall of stone stand in front of the face of the man protecting all of the civilians inside uh, a cube as after that izuku jumped down from the veins smashing his leg into the ground creating like a shock wave throwing rocks everywhere at the half of the of course the soldiers or the robberies as the robbery said it's a hero or at least what i think it is as they start shooting at him izuku making a wall of stone in front of him and after that he just punched the wall sending it on two of the robberies knocking them off covering them with rocks putting them into their places as another three of them which is all of them having an you know strength manip strength quirks they just immediately go at izuku punches as izuku start dodging them and immediately after that covering his hand with rock and give up a, a solid punch into one of their the people faces and after that uh, lifting up two rocks as he throw them on the other two people knocking them off a couple other of uh, of course the robberies start shooting at Izuku as they surrounding him and start shooting him some of them having fire quirks some others just lasers shooting out of their eyes they start attacking Izuku as Izuku getting hold of himself saying this will not be helpful I need to focus come on Izuku just focus on the metal just like your master told you before you leave try to find the earth inside this metal the earth element as izuku start focusing on the on the three balls that he have right now in his hand and immediately just throw them in the air as he closing his eyes and the balls start to move as they start jumping left and right on the wall and immediately hitting two of the people there on their heads knocking them off they are wearing you know helmet so it's one's gonna pierce through their heads but it's will gonna knock them off as he knocked two of them and the third one saying what the, what's that but before he continue he immediately getting hit on his helmet too and after that izuku just layer the walls of the stone so he can take a breath as he said oh that was tiring as the leader come from behind and start shooting on the civilians as Izuku said no and immediately putting his hand forward and the civilians were waiting for themselves to die but they see the bullets just sticking in the middle of the air and all might coming through the in front door seeing that there's something happening inside saying oh, I am he here as he see Izuku just holding the robberies and immediately he just push his hand forward throwing the bullet on the person back piercing through his skin but not killing him injuring him so much like in the leg and the arms as after that all izuku just fall on the ground on his knees and said well that was kind of need a lot of focus as all might come from behind and said young midori is that you as izuku looking behind he see all might as izuku said oh all Might, I, I can explain what's happened here. Can I just, as All Might putting his hand on Izuku's shoulder and said, Young Midoriya, you've done a great job here. Even that you don't have a license, a hero license, and I don't even know how the hell did you come here in the first place. That was a great job of you. And you also saved, saved the civilians. As well, the kid that you know was watching this he immediately ran at izuku and hugging him as he said thank you thank you for everything you've done you are my hero as izuku looking down he see kota as izuku said um thank you as after that uh, kota said you know mandala just taking kota back because mandala were one of the civilians she was kind of being inside the scene as she said, thank you, young man, for saving us. As Izuku said, um, wait, you are... Yes, I'm Mandela, if you know me. As Izuku said, oh, yeah, I know you. And uh, this little guy? Oh, his name is Kota. As Kota said, thank you again for saving me. You're really my hero. I'm very thankful to you. As Izuku said, oh, no, it's not a problem. 
I'm just gonna have to explain some things to All Might. As All Might said, what are you talking about? You doesn't have to explain anything. You saved 50, uh, 20 civilians and a hero and also stopped the villains without any kind of a big damage into the property. As Izuku seeing a couple of holes in the walls because of the shots and some rocks everywhere as Izuku said, oh, I can fix it. As Izuku just put his hand down and fix everything. As All Might said, well, now that this what I call it a full hero job so perfectly. That now that's a perfect hero job, Izuku. Come with me. We need to explain something. We I need to understand what happened right now. As Izuku said, I'm alright. And after that, Izuku just go with All Might to explain himself. And this one gonna leave it off, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what do you think about this part and what do you think will gonna happen the next part. Well, I have nothing more to say than Savage was here.